Everybody, it's Chris Eads, Wootini from GayGamer.net, here with another weekly video podcast. This is going to be an extremely short one because I didn't really play anything this past week at all. See, this past week, last Sunday night, I started feeling like I was coming down with something, and then the entire week I had a miserable, miserable head cold. And then on Saturday, we had this tremendous snowstorm. This blizzard dropped two feet of snow on New York City, and I could not enjoy any of the snow because I was miserable and sick and sleeping a lot. Um, it is now Sunday, and I am feeling slightly better. I feel like I'm on the upswing now, finally. Um, but the thing is, is when I'm sick, I don't really want to play games. Um, like, because you're certainly not going to play something like Rock Band or whatever, where it's actual physical exertion, and I feel like I can't play anything that's like, you know, like Thief or Tomb Raider or anything where you need reflexes because I've got no reflexes because I can't focus because my head is all foggy and I'm a mess. Um, so like, I tend to just sit and watch TV and watch movies. Um, I particularly like to watch like old movies, um, like old quiet black and white movies, you know, the, those are nice to watch when you're sick. Um, but, uh, I did play one game, um, cause one night during the middle of the week I was just like, I gotta do something. And, and I actually pulled out Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. Just because that doesn't, like, not the mini games, I played the main game. Um, because the main game, like, takes, like, no real thought. I mean, there is a little, you do strategize a little bit just to say, like, okay, do I want to use this now, or do I want to save this for later, and do I want to sell my turnips or not, and, you know. Um, but it doesn't take a whole lot of thought. So I was like, you know what, let me just sit here, I can place Amiibo Festival, and it'll be fine, because that won't hurt my brain that isn't functioning very well, and, you know, I can unlock more stuff for the characters, and some more mini games and whatever. So it's very sad that um, it took having a really, really miserable cold to uh, make me play Amiibo Festival, because I don't normally play it otherwise. Also because it's really time-consuming, like, if you want to play with, like, you know, two or three players, it takes like an hour, you know, to play the main board game. I mean, you can limit it, but, you know, that's not as, as good. You don't unlock as much. Um, but uh, I did also, early in the week, I think, was when I finally decided, unless it was last week, and I just forgot to mention it in last week's episode, but uh, I am done with Pokemon Picross. Gotta tell you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I love Picross, and it's great. And you know what's funny is if they had done this as a regular retail game, you know, for like 30 or $35, maybe not 35 and they'd done it for a regular retail game for like 25 or $30, I probably would have bought it, you know? If it was an eShop game and they were charging like, you know, 15 or $20 for it, I probably would have bought the thing. Um, because I like Picross games, and I probably would have bought it just so I would have more Picross puzzles to do. But as far as a free-to-play game, um... It's really badly structured. Um, I finally did enough of the daily practices to get up enough pick rights to unlock another area. But then you go into that area, and there's only like four or five puzzles to do, and you can't get all the pick rights off of those puzzles because you can't meet the requirements because you don't have the Pokemon that they're asking you to use, so it's like, you can't get those Pokemon until you unlock yet another space, but I've got like 10 Picrites, and they need me to have like 100 to unlock the next area, and I'm like, F that, like, that's like another week's worth of daily, route, of daily practice before I can even open the next area, which again is only going to have like four or five puzzles for me to do. 
And I just, I love Picross, but it's just kind of, as a free-to-play game, it's really badly structured. And I'm kind of disappointed in them, and I don't know why they did it this way. And uh, I know someone on, on YouTube, I forget who it was, but some, one of you commented and told me that there was a way to um, basically pay like 20 or $30, and it gives you unlimited pick rights so that you can unlock everything as you go. And I should probably just do that. Because then I can do the puzzles, and that would be fine. Um, so, I'll see how much that is. Because I just feel like I should have done that at the very beginning, and not wasted so much time. Um, I don't know, I, th I think it's probably going to it's probably going to be too much money, and I'm probably not going to want to waste the money. Um, either make it free to play, where you can actually play it for free, even with, like, waiting between puzzles, like make me only able to do one puzzle a day or something, um, or make me pay for it and then let me play it as much as I want. But this this way they did it, just, it didn't really work, I don't think. Um, so that's it. I feel like I need to go and take another nap, and um, I'll see you back here next week when I should be feeling better and we'll have actually played some games. See you then. Oh, also... If you have any recommendation of video games that you play when you aren't feeling well, uh, tell me in the comments, either on YouTube or on GayGamer.net, and I will keep that in mind for the next time that I feel like a miserable sack of garbage. Bye!